Hi guys, this is Cherie from Divine Visions. I'm doing Theo or Theo Hayes' reading today. Um, I'm going to be doing a tarot reading. So we're going to be having a look at just basically the energies of that night. If anybody is perhaps involved in his disappearance. This is all new for me really doing it by the tarot cards here regarding missing persons. But I am interested to see what comes through. So let's have a look. I'm using the Gilded Royale Tarot by Cairo Machetti. Let's have a look. Tuning into Tio Hayes. I think I'm saying his name right. You, I was saying Theo. I think his name's Tio. But either way, Spirit know who we're talking about. So I just basically want to know, like, look into the energies of that night. Um, from Cheeky Monkeys, like, just to see as in, like, a sequence of time events, okay? So first up, I just want to look at um, Theo's main energy as he was at Cheeky Monkeys. What mood he was in, perhaps. This is a special message that's come out right now. This is the Nine of Wands, which talks about not giving up. And I feel like being reversed, he's saying, don't give up on me. Don't give up on this. Keep looking for me. So let's have a look what his energy was of for that, what am I saying? That night at Cheeky Monkeys. Eight of Cups. This is somebody who emotionally walks away from a situation. And this is him leaving Cheeky Monkeys, I believe, when he was walking away. We've got the cups, which can represent, obviously, uh, drinking. Um, he may not have been intoxicated, but this is somebody who is, I believe abandoning one position to move to another um, so this means that he was walking away from a particular situation that may have been boring for him or it may have left him feeling like oh you know I don't really want to be here now I want to move on to something else I know some people were saying that he was kicked out there's been a lot of um, you know different stories with that one some are saying he was kicked out some are saying that he wasn't that drunk to be kicked out so it's kind of like up in the air regarding that one but this energy here is basically saying that he did walk away and it may have been his own choice to leave cheeky monkeys that night because this is somebody who does choose to um like chooses another direction to go in to satisfy a more meaningful purpose Let's have a look at what else follows here. So we have the three of pentacles. This usually means that, well, in some parts of the tarot, it can represent that you've worked so hard, you're coming to a part where you need to just take a rest and there's time for rewards and things like that. What I see also with this is it's teamwork. It tells me that there was other people around him after he left Cheeky Monkeys. So this is him walking away and um, it would be interesting to, to know and see if there was a full moon on the, on the night he left um, because that's what's in the card here. But this is telling me that there was at least three other people around him. Um, being a teamwork dedicated card, it does show me that people were perhaps meeting for the same cause or meeting for the same reasons or purpose. They're on the same page as each other, working towards a common goal. So whether he met up with some people because there was a reason they were meeting up with each other, that is the question as well. Yeah, and then we have the Justice card reversed. And being reversed, being the opposite, it is shows an injustice. So there's been an injustice somewhere along the lines here. 
by the, between him leaving Cheeky Monkeys and him meeting up with these people, it looks to me like there's been an injustice of some sort here on his journey. I want to get some more clarifiers on that very soon. I want to pull out one more card regarding this. Oh, wow. I'm just feeling so uh, overwhelmed right now as I'm doing this reading because I'm feeling the energies really strongly. Not so much... Uh, getting visions but it's just the feeling I'm like I've already had the visions etc I've got an idea of what occurred but this is kind of validating it for me um, in terms of the feelings and how it's unfolded I'm trying to be as objective as I can with this reading as well so the seven of swords reversed when it's upright it represents um, having to be diplomatic be cunning in a situation it can represent betrayal um, it can represent deceit like deception and things being hidden behind the scenes and you can see the fox there like a sneaky fox and what I feel with this is also that I'm not sure if there was a weapon used on Theo some people are you know feeling that but basically what this is showing me, just being reversed for the meaning of this card, is that truths were revealed to him that he didn't want to see. <clears throat> so he's walked away to meet up with these people. An injustice has occurred. So whether a fight broke out or whether something he they were doing he was not... Um, you know, agreeing with. He might not have been agreeing with what they were doing. He might not have approved of what they were actually really doing um, because it feels to me like he was blindsided here. He, he wasn't... Um, the feeling I get is that he was meeting them to perhaps for a certain purpose and then uh, it's turned into a different thing and he wasn't interested and something's happened in between that time so it could have been that the injustice was that he felt that it wasn't moral or it wasn't legal or something along those lines there as well um, could happen because the justice card's very much to do with legalities um, but I do feel like he felt that he was entrapped in something feels like he was trapped in a situation he didn't want to be a part of um, and he could not necessarily leave that situation um, on his own. Now we've got the Knight of Swords and this is quick-witted, very fast energy. This is fast action. So whatever occurred happened very quickly. Whether it be that there was a fight and somebody hit him or there was a weapon used or he was picked up in a car because this, the horse can represent a vehicle. I do want to get clarifiers, but this is the energy behind this. And it also shows a knight. Now, this can be a male, okay? This can definitely be a male en energy of somebody who is in their 20s or 30s. They can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and I would be turning more towards a Libran energy, a Libran energy, because the justice, uh, Libran is justice. So, yeah, that's interesting there. Um, could be a Libran. Could be an air sign person that we're dealing with regarding a person who's challenged Theo in some way. And I believe he was taken to a house. We have the house card here. This is the Ten of Pentacles. It usually represents an old house. Which is interesting because I'm pretty sure in my spirit sessions, um, yeah, they did. They said, search the house past the old church. And to me, it's always been an old house. I feel like it's an old abandoned house or it's just an old house that's been there for decades because that's what this card usually represents is something that's been... Um, you know, it's like an inheritance. It's like a, um, a legacy. It's left behind for somebody. Um, so it could be very old. Yeah. I keep feeling like I want to keep going. So let's go. Now we've got the 
Queen of Cups reversed. This could be, um, well, it's a very maternal energy usually. But there's manipulations being reversed. And it is a water sign. So this could be a Scorpio, Cancer or Pisces. Um, it may be a female that was involved. I did pick up on a female, as some other people did as well, that there may have been a female presence. She might not have been directly involved, but there's like a feminine um, aspect there. Um, and it could be that one of their mothers know, like if there is a perpetrator here, that it looks like there is somebody here that's had an, um, a clash, basically, with Theo um, and has challenged him you know, or hurt him in some way, then there's definitely a mother or a female in the family or a, or a girlfriend even, somebody who knows. She's an older woman. Um, she knows about this. Even if she doesn't know all the details, she knows something about this, I feel. She may even be, this might be someone that lives at home with their mother or a girlfriend. Because we've got the foundation card reversed. This is the four of wands, which represents the security, the happy relationships. Um, it's an unstable relationship. You know, the foundations aren't strong. So as I said before, this could be an old abandoned house. Could be just an old house um, that where the foundations aren't strong. So in other words, it could be that this is a rocky relationship between the perpetrator and the girlfriend or the mother. There may not be strong ties there. This person could be unemployed or just works odd jobs. That's just what's coming through, guys. Um, and they could have um, an old beat-up car, that you know, just something they're trying to fix or something like that along those lines. I don't feel like they're very well to do with money. Like, they might act like they are, but I don't necessarily feel they are. Then we got the three of wands and we do see the beach and we do see the boat which is interesting because this was obviously on the coast that this occurred i'm wondering if this person's thinking of traveling abroad or trying to get out of um, the region byron bay or the region around because this does talk about also um well, it's usually about someone waiting for something to return to them, actually. They put it out there to the universe. They're putting out all their plans, etc., ready to set sail. They're waiting for the ship to come in, basically. And so this just feels to me that this person um, could even own a boat. Could actually own a boat. Could be doing up a boat in their backyard. Um, you know, they might... Because this is a waiting car. This is preparing and planning. Is somebody... Uh, planning on going on a boat trip? Are they planning on going on a cruise? Are they planning on just getting out there and going fishing a lot? They're trying to do something to um, escape or stay away from the inland kind of thing. It's almost like they're trying to get away from their environment. Also, on another note, this can represent that they're also waiting to hear if there's any news of a revelation with police updates or any other form of revelation there. I mean, they could even be watching my damn YouTube video. So we've got the Three of Cups reversed. This is friendships and socializing networks. Can be drinking, can be networking, can be celebration and joyous times. This isn't a joyous time. Um, I still get the three. I do feel there was three people very strongly involved in Theo's disappearance. There could be two males and a female or three males and a female indirect, you know, indirectly involved. Um, but I definitely feel that there's a three there and being reversed, there's loyalties now amongst them that have been questioned. So somebody, you know, these cups are reversed. Somebody might spill some info. And then we've got the eight of swords reversed. This is somebody blindfolded. They've got their hands tied. Um, 
It usually represents someone who's feeling very hopeless and helpless and their own mind is trapping them in this, like it's negative thinking, not believing that they can escape out of this way of thinking. Then we've got the Ace or the One of Swords, which is clarity. There's no clarity in this situation right now. And what I feel for this is for the family and for everybody searching for Theo, that there just seems to be no hope, no clarity, no breakthrough right now. We're going to have a look at other cards very soon. And this is the King of Swords. This could be, once again, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be a man in his 40s. Could definitely represent a policeman. Someone of authority who's just feeling like, you know, they don't have that breakthrough just yet. And the Ace of Wands, which is about courage and embracing the opportunity, seizing the opportunity. Someone's waiting because they don't yet have that, that one thing they need, which I feel they're going to get actually got the sun reversed but the sun is always good in a reading it shows illumination it's truths coming out but I want to know why it's reversed okay we do have the death card and I know a, pe a lot of people freak out when they see the death card because it can mean a literal death and in some cases it can represent a spiritual death an emotional death but I do feel in Theo's case that, you know, I feel that he has gone through a physical transition into the spirit world. I do feel that. Um, I do feel that's going to be a revelation coming through. I just want to see what else is coming through here with this, please. Angels, guides. Seven of Wands is usually a defensive guarded position. Someone's guarding their position. Someone is hiding something or they're standing strong for what they believe in and it's reversed. I want to see what comes up with that. Yeah, someone's torn in this. One of these three people involved is very torn in this. They're torn about what to do. There's heartbreak here, obviously, for the family. But I'm seeing this as a three triangle as well the three of them uh perhaps at loggerheads with each other stressed out you know about what other people are doing what the other ones are doing but definitely feeling that someone's guard is coming down someone is crumbling in this situation they're not going to be able to deal with the guilt because they weren't planning this i feel it wasn't a plan it was just stupid people who went over the line who just stepped over the line and it was very fast it was like this rage boiling um you know words being spoken it's like a taunting of energy him being taunted him you know being in the middle and maybe bullied or ganged up on and a feeling like one in particular took it out on him um it just feels like it was a very fast very fast um Thing that happened here altercation so I just want to have a look further just to get some more clarifiers on this okay just to suss out a little bit more what do we want to know what else can we know please about where Theo is perhaps you know that's the main question what everyone's wanting to know and it can be very hard to know with the tarot especially exactly where somebody is like a location it's not something I usually use my tarot cards for, but we'll see what happens, okay? We'll just see what comes through. I already have my fair ideas on, on, as to whereabouts he is. So we've got the Ace of Earth reversed, okay? The Ace of Pentacles. We're seeing mountains, we're seeing grassy pastures there. I do feel like he's inland. I don't feel like he's on the coast. I don't feel he's directly on the coast. 
This being reversed also shows that the pathway is not open at the moment. For some reason, um, they're not they're not on the right path. Basically, they're not checking in the right area. Page of Cups represents a young person, and you know this is somebody who really has time to reflect and look at themselves. It can be someone returning as well. So I want to look a bit more further into this. It can be love returning, that kind of thing. But for this particular energy, I'm feeling it is more of a, a nostalgic feeling. It's a feeling of maybe having to go back to somewhere that they looked before. Or we're going to look and didn't look. So there's some searchers who are going away from the coast and searching perhaps. If they've done that, they need to go and look again. We've got the boat reversed, clarity reversed. Okay, so this is basically moving on. Moving on, finding clarity. At this stage, it's still, the truth is in the darkness still. There's still a lot of um, chaotic energy around this. There's still no focus on the direction. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, someone in their 20s or 30s. This is a very trustworthy, loyal person. This is somebody who plans and methodically plans. It's a slow and steady wins the race kind of thing. So this person is a very strong um, individual in the search team, I feel. Could be in the um, family, could be the volunteer search team, could be the... Um, the you know search and rescue that kind of thing could be police whatever it is this person is very dedicated to this um i do feel this is a male this is a male and they are very dedicated and it feels to me that this person's not giving up they they're, they're going to come in and this could even be a new person that comes in as well who has fresh eyes kind of thing that can be that as well or it could be someone that's been there since day dot and has a new direction they now want to go on. They're persistent. Yeah, they have a new direction they need to go on. They've got fresh eyes. So this, this person, this knight coming in, is very trustworthy, very loyal. And they've also got some background um, in, oh, I don't know what the environmentalism is or something. There's something about them that they have some idea i'm not really sure exactly what it is and maybe i'm not meant to know because it's you know secret stuff we're not meant to be knowing everything at this stage in the in the whole thing um but i feel like this person's got some knowledge behind them that can help steer the volunteer group in the right direction um they've got a really good brain on them this person and they're also good with maps i get this person um really has some good ideas and the word I'm getting with this they may have a son of their own around the same age as um, Theo and this may may um, be the catalyst also why they're you know why they're so determined to help with this the eight of pentacles is the hard work and the extra focus it's extra focus so no joke this person and it's not just one person it is the team as well okay guys i'm not discrediting anyone else's efforts because everybody is doing an amazing freaking job even those overseas everybody is doing something that is uh helping in some way to bring about the truth here so this is it, the focus, the hard work, the resources coming together to, to get this happening. I do feel, I just want to see what else this is saying to me. Well, once again, because I did put the cards back in there, there's teamwork, there's dedication. This is what this is showing me regarding the search team here. Where can we look? So we got the love, lover's card reversed. This is about passion. It's passion for a cause. Usually it's romance, you know, in the in the uh, traditional tarot. But I'm, I'm more feeling this is to do with the passion and, and chemistry um, of everybody coming together. And it's that cause. It's the passion for the cause. Um, but being reversed, I just want to have a look at what that is there as well. So the Four of Cups reversed is sometimes we see opportunities being presented to us 
and we're not necessarily putting our attention onto it. We're tunnel vision. You know how some people fall in love and all they see is the other person? <laughs> well, this could be an issue with some of the search team or investigators. There might be tunnel vision looking at only one particular area or one particular line of inquiry or whatever it is, and it's saying they need to open their eyes a bit more. They need to see the other opportunities, the cups being held out to them because they could be the answer. That's what this person's coming in to do, I feel. There's, they're going to come in and maybe shake things up a little bit, but it's a good thing. It's a good thing. And, guys... It's near a church, okay? This is the um, the high priestess. I'm not know what I'm saying. The high priest. It's the hierophant. This is the sacred union, the marriage card, and it does represent. It can represent legalities. Um, you know, anything legal like a lawyer, um, a policeman, a counselor. But to me, it is to do with commitment because it's right next to the lovers card. This is marriage. This is a church. So whether this person says, hey, let's go look past a church or let's go to a church or whatever it is, it's like something is going to be done around or near a church. That's what it's showing me here, which is so damn interesting because in my spirit session, she said past the old church. Now, I didn't even know there was a place actually called the old church. I think there's a couple in Byron Bay or just outside of. And I'm like, wowza. I looked on the map. I could not believe it. So it's either relevant to them or it is just an old church somewhere. But, you know, everyone's got to be looking. Temperance. Balancing out the energies, tempering the energies. This could be a Sagittarius that we're dealing with. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but the Knight of Pentacles is a Taurus uh, Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo energy. So this person could be very earthy, very grounded, very down to earth, trustworthy, loyal person. As I said, this person is, I'm just trying to remember, Taurus. So this definitely could be a person that's a Taurus as well coming in. And we've got a Gemini energy here and the Sagittarius. Okay, so it's just if any of you are watching and you realize, oh, I'm in the search team or I'm a police officer or whatever it is and I'm, I fall into this category, maybe they're talking about me, it just confirms some things, you know, that this is on the right track. Then we've got the moon, Cancer or Pisces. Now, this is really interesting because the moon is what holds secrets, okay? This card is about secrets, what lies beneath. What's under the surface? What's behind the scenes? What's not being illuminated right now? What, what intuition? Are we going by our intuition as well as our logic? Are we going with our gut instincts as well as what's logical here? Because there's a lot of choices. There's too many choices to go in, you know, too many, too many um, avenues to go down right now. I mean, it's a vast area. And I'm telling you guys, it's to do with a the house. There's something to do with the house that's very, a significant house where there has been, because this shows emotional fulfillment, contentment, it's happiness, it's that end of the cycle, it's the end of the chapter. I do feel that, I do feel Theo will be found. I can't tell you when, but I don't feel it's going to be that far off. And I do feel like he is. There's two cards now showing me a house. Well, just uh, getting a vision there. I'm seeing a pub. I'm seeing like I'm seeing like an old hotel or a pub or something because the drinking in the building. I'm just okay. Yes, it's a house, but I, I it was usually representative of a happy family. You know, it's that home. Um, but I'm seeing a pub. I'm seeing like a, a big pub here. With a bistro. I'm getting a bistro. Could be near the church. I'm getting 10 kilometers for some bloody reason. I don't know, but just yeah, pay attention to that. All right, so Queen of Wands is an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. We've had Sagittarius come up twice. Reversed. I just want to see what that's about. Because they don't have to necessarily always be people, but because we've got the King of Cups come up as well, <laughs> starting to wonder. So we've got a Queen and a King. Could be that this hotel's owned 
by a woman and a, and a, fe- and a what am I saying? A female and a male. It could be that it's a husband-wife joint team, okay, owns this. So that could be a clue for some people. This is a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. This is an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So we've had Cancer come up twice, Pisces, um, Sagittarius. Just amazing different things coming up here. All right, let's have a look. I want to see what else it can tell me here. So not being reckless and impulsive to take some time to really plan and plan the next move, basically. And we've got the seven of pentacles reversed, which we can see the pastures. We can see the cows. It's like a farmland. Um, and, you know, she's looking at this. Um, she's got a basket in her hands. It's talking about patience. It could be an organic farm because I actually did pick up on like an organic fruit farm in my vision um, that could be around him. And. What I see is that this is a time for patience. It's a time that um, you have to sort of sit back and see what all of these plans in place are. You know, some people might think, is what I'm trying to say, is that all the effort and everything put into the investigation is just a no, you know, there's no hope and they're losing hope, etc. But I feel like we're edging closer. That's what it feels like. Now, when I say we, I mean we're all a, we're all a team. Either spiritually, we're in spirit there, or we're physically there. You know, you guys are there physically. A lot of you, some of us are overseas, some of us are interstate, that kind of thing. But we're all there with the spirit of love. Now, let's have a look at what else needs to come up for Theo. Um, and this case, the moon again has come up. Well, it just threw itself out. Um, once again, it's things that are hidden behind the scenes. Uh, it could be a full moon that um, we are in a new moon. When I'm doing this reading, it's a new moon in Leo. It's the 31st of July today. And 2019, and it's the new moon in Leo. So it's all about um, bringing in the new intentions, what it is you want to manifest. It's about our prayers and visualizations and intentions, um, being able to draw them into fruition, being able to manifest that, being able to attract that, what we want into our lives. What we want is the truth to surface now. This could also represent being a real receptive feminine type of energy that um, and also being nighttime, you know, when the moon comes out, that Theo could be found at night, um, could be a full moon, could also represent um, being Pisces, you know, this is what this usually represents is Pisces and Cancer as well. Um, but being Pisces, it can represent the time frame. So I think for Pisces, if I'm, I'm just trying to remember what times that is, I think it's February. February, March, is it for Pisces? I'm pretty sure. Um, so it could be a significant time around then. And Cancer is obviously just gone now in July. Um, yeah, so I'm just, it could represent a time frame. But I don't, I don't know if it will take that long. Just seeing what other messages come through. Got that card again. So some cards are coming up the same as before um, because there's 78 cards in this deck. So it's pretty interesting that similar ones, all the same ones are coming up. So we've got the Ace of Pentacles again reversed. The pathway is closed. Could be that this is a gated pathway. There might be a gate that's blocking the pathway. There's something blocking perhaps the pathway that leads to Theo. Could be a private property you know, that he's on. We just don't know. Um, but it's interesting because the guard is down. Being upright, this is somebody who's got a defensive stance. The guard's up. They're protective or overprotective of their domain, basically. So it could be, really, that Theo is maybe there's some obstacles to get to him in terms of the environment, the terrain he's on or in. 
Um, and it could be that he's hidden away, obviously. He may not necessarily be out in the open to the elements. Um, but being like guard, like unguarded, like being unprotected, it could be that he's not necessarily on anyone's house. He might have been in a house or he could be um, in an old abandoned house that's just not closed off. I'm, I'm just trying to put it out there, all different theories here, guys, um, of what these cards could represent as well. Um, yeah, so this, this usually represents reverse that the path is blocked to abundance, to the opportunity to, to move forward. And this is definitely showing me that the guard's down, the defences are down. So it could be that there's an old fence that's been knocked down or something. We just got to sort of think outside the box here. This is the King of Wands, which could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius male, perhaps in his 30s or 40s. Um, this is somebody who's quite... Um, in the negativity, can be very angry, can be fast to anger, can be quick-tempered, can be charismatic, can be manipulative, um, greedy, you know, that kind of stuff. But it's not reversed. It's showing me somebody who's very passionate. Um, I don't necessarily feel that this is to do with the search team, though. I am getting the energy of somebody who knows about this and is covering up or is... Um, well, they're aware of where Theo is. They may have even placed him where he is. Um, once again, reversed is the Seven of Pentacles. So once again, we've got the pasture, the farm, land, what I call the organic fruit trees. This is what I connect that with. Um, and it's showing me being reversed that this person's not so invested in keeping track of or keeping it protected. That's what it feels like. So maybe they are feeling that, okay, he's well hidden. We don't need to really guard this. You know, this person's on their throne standing strong. Same kind of thing this guy's holding. I don't know what that is, but it's supposed to be a wand. Um, you know, he's holding the same thing. This guy's holding the same thing, but... Being reversed, he's not necessarily on guard. He's not guarding this particular pathway or where Theo is. I feel like, um, yeah, it's just not, they might feel that he's concealed enough or hidden enough um, not to have to watch, you know, watch it or keep guard all the time. Um, as I said, he could be on someone's property where it is. There is an obstacle to get on there. Um, and so they're not so worried because maybe people aren't trespassing or going into the property. Um, that could be one aspect. We have we have got the magician. And this is about things manifesting. This is manifestation. This is awareness. This is putting all the tools and resources together to and to plan for something to come about, to bring it about. And we've got the two of wands reversed. So this is somebody who comes together with other per with another person usually. They have a vision to move and it's a quest. So this would be the search team trying to manifest. Where do we go now? Where do we go on this horizon in this vast land? Where do we search next? And it's being manifested. People are planning for this. Where to next go? Um, yeah. And once again, the heartbreak card comes up. And this can be a triangle, like the third party situation. Like there's a three, three people in this, um, it feels. So, yeah. And I also get Theo's parents and his brother as not saying that it's not relevant or significant, the pain that his other family members or extended family or friends would feel, but I definitely get the mum, dad and the brother in this heartache here. And this is the main focus, is to try and alleviate this pain by receiving this closure and awareness, you know, finding where Theo is. And we've got the nine of cups. Someone might be self-medicating through drinking lots of wine you know, get wine, I get beer or whatever. It's it's alcohol. Could be the perpetrators, you know, that they might be people that get drunk often or they might be drinking their, 
guilt, you know, to cover their guilt. They might be drinking a lot to just try and escape what happened. Could be the family, could be people who are hurting in this as well, trying to self-medicate through the pain of this and the heartache. Yeah, okay, so we've got the six of, yeah, the six of cups here. And it represents childhood memories. It's nostalgic. Um, it's talking about, you know, those from the past being able to be reunited. So this is definitely something, sorry, can represent children as well. So this is obviously, Theo is a young child. You know, he's still a man. He's a young man. But really, at the end of the day, when you're a parent, they're still your baby. And this is how I see this. So... Five of Wands represents competition. You can see these people fighting in the woods. You know, it's like in, um, they've got mountains behind them and there's trees on the ground and around them and they're fighting one another. And this just represents to me that this was a fight. It's like that masculinity. It's like, you know, the puffing of the chest and taunting one another and getting into a fight and that's how I feel it, it came down to between Theo and these other people got the king of cups again um, cancer Pisces Scorpio energy so let's see what else comes through with that so this is a decision to be made something not clear no clarity not knowing which way to move forward to not knowing what to do and once again, this woman comes out again. So it's interesting because beforehand they were together and I did see them as like a husband-wife team. Perhaps um, this is a church they own or a business or, um, you know, I, was it a business? Oh, no, I don't know if it was a church. I thought it was the um, the bistro or the pub I thought I saw. But anyway, it could be anything really. Um, at the end of the day, also I wanted to mention that the Hierophant that came out that I – had definitely seen to do with the church because the lover's card was next to it and the marriage, that kind of thing. What I also see with the Hierophant is it can represent a place of study. Uh, yes, a place of worship, but it can also represent a place of study like a TAFE or a college, which is interesting because the word college came up in the spirit session, in one of the spirit sessions. So we've got the swords reversed, confusion here. Again, the moon comes up in a lot of these cards. We've got the, yeah, we've got the um, four of pentacles. This is somebody holding back information, I feel, in this particular thing we're looking at. Someone's holding back. They're holding back on information. They don't know whether to come forward with information they have. Or they're holding back because they might they might feel that it's going to affect their own family. Um, this could be directly the uh, family of a perpetrator. Okay, if they feel like their son or someone's been involved or their brother or whatever it is. These particular people here could also be the others that I saw before that own um, a property or own a business and may have some questions around it as well. We just don't know. Um, there could be ties here that not saying they're involved as indirectly, but they may have information or they might be suspicious of somebody around them and they're just not coming forward. They don't know what to do. So I advise those people to do the right thing and come forward. And the Knight of Cups looks like someone will come forward. We've got the Knight of Cups, which is a good energy usually. It's somebody who normally is very dreamy, very romantic, very sensitive, very poetic. You know, this is a kind of uh, energy that I would put um, place next to Theo. You know, this is his kind of energy here. But I'm also placing it with this with this king as well, someone who is responsible. It might be the woman that's holding the guy back saying, no, I'm not happy with this because she's reversed here. Whereas he may want to step forward. She might be saying, no, you know, it's just an idea. I'm not saying this is definite, but this is definitely interesting how this is coming up here. But definitely someone wants to come forward and um, do the right thing. Yeah, whoops, and then we've got the Queen of Swords. 
which is truth, it's integrity, it's getting to the nitty gritty. So this person wants to come forward and give the absolute truth, no mucking around. In an assertive, loving way. Somebody wants to come forward with some truths. Um, perhaps get something off the chest. Might, might be worried that it'll affect business or something. I'm not sure, but there's something there. Okay. Pulled out this card, Strength and Death card again. So the strength is definitely showing that there's need a need for courage. This is the Leo energy. It's just interesting. We're in the Leo new moon right now. Uh, the Leo energy is coming through with this and the Scorpio energy I meant to say with the death card before. So the strength card is self-explanatory. You know, the family and everybody involved needs strength in this particular um you know, this this experience, everything that everyone's experiencing in this, they need strength, absolutely. Because this is a very uh, sensitive topic. There is also a feeling of, you know, a definite uh, feeling of sadness, obviously, devastation. The not knowing is really difficult, really tough. So there's almost like this strength to keep going, to keep pushing forward, even if it's going to be you know, an outcome that's not what everybody wants. You know, everybody wants to find Theo happy and alive somewhere, you know, and this is what our focus is on. But it's almost like the focus has been turned on to um, the, the darker side of things now, the darker side. Now, I just want to see... If any other cards are coming through here. So we've got the Knight of Pentacles once again. This trustworthy, loyal person coming through. So I do feel like these are two different energies. I do feel that there's somebody who's holding back on information who's not directly involved, who wasn't there that particular night, but may have now realized or come to some epiphany or some revelation within themselves that, oh, my God, this might be a person that's... um could be someone very close to them in their own family that they're afraid to come forward and, and expose because they're connected to them in some way. Um, but this person's a very different person. This is that energy I picked up before where they're very loyal, very dedicated, very switched on. They want this breakthrough. They're, they're actually dedicated in receiving this breakthrough and the truth to come out. This is the victory. This is the breakthrough. This is the karmic card, right? Once and for all, bringing a balance to karma. This person has in, um, justice and integrity, all those things within themselves. They, they are possibly even a policeman or something like that along those lines. They don't have to be, but they can be definitely of service. That's what they are. They're of service. They want to offer their resources, their knowledge, their wisdom, um, their time and energy, that kind of thing. Temperance is coming up once again. And that's that Sag Sagittarius energy. We have the, the Taurus Virgo Capricorn for this one. And once again, it's showing me the balance between yin, yang, day, night, that kind of thing. It's balancing the energies. Um, I feel like this person might be trying to also, you know, it can be very, very tiring for some of the search team, especially or investigators or whoever's involved in trying to find the truth that emotions are very highly charged and some people might really, you know, cut off other people or, you know, just crack the shits or whatever it might be because it's very stressful. There's a lot of pressure on everybody, even though everyone's coming together and it's loving and it's beautiful and kind and compassionate. There are going to be days where it's also going to be like people are at the end of their, you know, their thing here. So it's like just people are going to be very stressed through this as well. Yeah, all right. Just want to see what else comes up. Anything new for this, please? There's the house again. All right, we got the no clarity. This is the truth as well. This is the sword of truth. Clarity, it's peace. It's knowledge, but not necessarily having this knowledge around the home. Hmm. I mean, this this is usually representative of coming to that full cycle, someone being absolutely um, comfortable in their own wealth, their security, but it usually represents an old home. And that's what I'm getting with this is that there's an old house connected to this or an old building. 
of some sort. And there's a tower. Now this card normally represents um, sudden change, sudden revelation that may not necessarily be pleasant. It, it is a sudden change. Nobody likes change usually. Um, sometimes it can be a hidden blessing or a divine intervention. Um, but it could also, in this case with what we're talking about, represent something that could be symbolic or the same shape as this in the landscape where there is like a tower-like structure. And I'm thinking of the lighthouse, but I'm wondering if there's something else also around the area somewhere in the vicinity where there is this building with the large tower on it as well. Got the world upside down. This is not finished yet. People are not giving up. This closed. It's not a closed chapter. The cycle has not completed yet. This is something that still needs to be pursued and I feel like people won't give up until he's found. We've got the Queen of Pentacles reversed. I get a very strong um, energy around Theo's mum with this one and I just feel like she's a very grounded beautiful I've not met her I haven't seen much of her on the news either I've just seen a picture of her and I feel like she's a very grounded well you know um a beautiful mother like the earthy type of mother and you know she's like a rock for a lot of people in this which is amazing it just shows me that she's quite strong even though her heart's breaking or has broken you know she's such a beautiful person and it just shows me that she also um She's praying and she's also got a lot of her own intuitive ability, I feel. And she's the earthy type, you know. I just feel like she's just, I wouldn't be surprised if she's like a Taurus, Capricorn or Virgo. Like she's just got this earthy quality to her. And I just feel that she's really hanging in there. She's really um, amazing. Like she's just so beautiful and she's loving. She's really hanging in there. I just feel, I want to see what this is about with her as well. Um, could be also that as strong as she is, because it is reversed as well, and we do have the, you know, the crumbling of the tower in the world, I just want her to take care of her own health here as well, um, just her own health needs. If she needs to take a break, just to step back, because it's it's extremely overwhelming. As much as she's a rock to others, maybe that's the point. Maybe she's been so strong, she just has to take a step back so she doesn't crumble you know this is this is the feeling here coming through just because a special message for her and then we've got the injustice okay again reversed the inequality the injustice the the balancing of the scales it's not um because the libra energy the libra is usually somebody who is a peacemaker and it's all about relationships. So there's an injustice in the relationships that he had that night. That's what I'm sensing. Here's the Hierophant again. Oh, my God. And this is to do with legal stuff, right? So when there's a contract of some sort, it's either a wedding, it's a legal contract, um, it's documents being signed of some sort. So it's either study, it's legal, as in a lawyer, or it is wedding, and I just want to see what other cards are coming out with that. So we've got the three of wands again. This is interesting. This is somebody. Oh, God, I just realized. I wonder if someone's going to apply for a visa to go somewhere. Or if they already have. I'm not sure. It just is interesting that we're seeing, yes, we mentioned the location in a building before. This might be a different message in these two cards here. But this person might be applying for a visa to go and um, go somewhere else, go overseas, go interstate and start their life somewhere else or do a course somewhere. Yeah. Also can represent Theo's journey as well, that he was perhaps planning on, you know, returning home and because this is returning somewhere as well or having something returned to you and 
yeah, it's just definitely showing that part of the journey as well. Yeah, and the Three of Cups reversed. Again, it's repeating. So it's saying that there was, you know, I feel three people. There was drinking, there's self-medicating, there's people who are not, um, you know, happy in this, they're depressed, that kind of thing. So it's just showing me that it's all different things. Now, I just want to have a look quickly just to wrap this up because I, I feel like I'm not sure if anything else new can come through this particular reading tonight. But I do want to ask about, will the truth be revealed to us? Will it actually be revealed where Theo is and what happened to him? Okay, we've got the swords, seven of swords reversed. And to me, this is the deception and betrayal and deceit. It's like the robber, you know, behind the scenes, the burglar kind of thing. It's that energy of someone coming in and taking from you um, and just being sly and cunning and sneaky. And being reversed, to me, I'm not even sure what reversed means really in the booklet, and I don't really even go with them, by the way. Half the time I'm doing it by my own intuition. This being reversed is the opposite to me. It tells me that the truth is going to be revealed. The veil will be lifted, okay? That's what it's telling me. Oh my God, the Hierophant has come up three times. This is such a significant card and being a major arcana card as well, coming up three times means this is very significant. I still get the bishop, the priest. In one of my other sessions, I did the priest, the name or the word the priest came up and, you know, I'm just thinking it's to do with the church. So once again, maybe the key or the answers are held around an old church or an old building around the church. So we've got the Ten of Swords reversed. This is somebody who's been betrayed. You see the swords in this man's back and he's lying down. And they're not really in his back, but it's kind of like a symbolic thing of betrayal, of being stabbed in the back basically by some people that you thought you knew. And I do believe that he thought he knew these people or... Um, you know, even if it was for a short time, he trusted them. And he's been stabbed in the back with the, from, from these people. So they're not who they say they were or they were um, acting extremely differently to how they were when he first met them. And we have the, I don't know what they are, those red flowers. They look like poppies or something, but it could be relevant. It may not be. Don't take it, to, you know, like, oh, my God, there's poppies there and it should be somewhere else. But sometimes... Sometimes symbolic pictures in the cards can actually represent a specific place they're at. It's amazing how that can happen. Um, so it may be relevant. It may not be that there's red flowers around where he is or around the church. I keep thinking it's more a church, yeah. And the strength card is coming up again. Leo Energy. We are in Leo right now. We are asking, is, the, is this going to be revealed? And I believe it will. It might just take a little bit of time. Let's see what else comes up with that. Will the truth be revealed around Theo? The full card reversed. People are not trusting in. They're trying to keep the faith, but they're losing faith. This keeps coming up as well, the temperance card, tempering of the energies, allowing, you know, don't burn yourselves out. Don't burn yourselves out. Allow for patience in the journey because I know so many people are just so invested in this that, you know, they're putting all their heart and everything into this, which is beautiful. But, you know, they're going to beat themselves up at the end of the day when they don't find anything. Um, and it's just about being able to balance out the energies and give yourself a pat on the back Ground your energy, go and take a hot bath with some Epsom salts or something, ground your energy and replenish yourselves, replenish yourselves. Some of you are getting these blisters on your feet. You need to be careful of yourselves. Like you just have to, you know, take a break. 
Oh my God, this has come up again. This is, I think, the third time this house card has come up now. So it's definitely a very, it's either an old building that's a church or it's an old house or building that's near a church. That's what I'm getting. Really strong here. And we've got the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And the Hierophant is the Taurus energy. And um, yeah, what we've got here is Sagittarius Temperance. But I'm seeing that there's definitely this fast action coming through, swift action. just want to see what that's around actually. So this is reversed. Shows me it's in the past though. It's in the past. So this, whatever happened was very fast. Whatever happened to Theo happened fast and he was removed from the location fast. I believe he went into a car. We do have the horse, which is representative also of a vehicle. I do believe he left in a car. He was picked up, I believe. We've got the... Ace of Wands reversed again. Let's see what that represents here. Three of Cups reversed again. These are not loyal people. They're not loyal friends. This is a friendship. This is excitement and, and joy with friendships. People you can trust. People you can confide in. These are not loyal people. Not even to each other. They might be bonded by this thing or bonded by drugs or bonded by other things outside of the whatever. But at the end of the day, they're not trustworthy and they're not loyal. Yeah, the foundations are rocky. I feel like that someone's going to someone's going to break here, break that uh yeah, break the uh what do you call it? The bond. The um, whatever's there, it's not going to last long because this shows that there's an opportunity that they can't refuse. So maybe they um, realize, you know, it's like a life review, sitting down and realizing, you know, this is not right. This is not right what happened and I need to come forward, take the opportunity and do the right thing. It's almost like this heavenly hand, you know, this heavenly angel or whatever it is, this person is is giving him this cup and saying, you know, this is an opportunity for you to take. And are you going to take this? Or are you going to be hiding away forever? You know, it's just, yeah, it's not, not going to work. Manifesting, manifestation. What are we manifesting? Let's see. Because this is not going to take long, guys. I don't feel it's going to take long. Someone's going to, to um, want to do the right thing. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, because it's it's affecting them. We have the Four of Swords. This is, oh my God, it's so torment. It's mental torment on their brain, on their mind. They're up at night thinking about this. It's doing their head in. And they're young. They're a young person. They need to come forward and do the right thing. They do. And I feel like for some reason I'm feeling there'd be like leniency on them in the legal process because they would be one to step forward. And if they're not young, they're just immature, you know, in their mind or in their mental space or whatever, they might be just young. Um, yeah, because this shows me that they're feeling really trapped in this process. They're not, they don't like it. They don't like what they're feeling here. They don't, they don't like what's going on. They're not, no, they don't like it at all. Um, yeah, it's playing on their mind. There's a lot of guilt. There is a lot of guilt. This is not how it was meant to be, I'm hearing. Um, it was not meant to happen this way, okay? It wasn't meant to happen this way. This is abundance, fertility, beauty, luxury, growth. Um, you know, it can represent birth and pregnancy, rebirth, that kind of thing. It's the feminine energy also. It's a Taurus and Libra. 
So, you know, this is representing to me that things are not flourishing or being nurtured in this person's life. They're not being able, they're not able to grow. This has stunted their growth in some way. This is huge. And there's no options for them in life. They don't feel like they can really uh, explore much. They, they don't um, necessarily feel like it's, you know, what's, out, what's in it for them in the, in the long run, you know, to keep it a secret or what's in it for them to reveal. They're weighing up their options. And at the moment, remaining a hermit, you know, hiding away. It's funny how the light, the lantern is on this, what looks like an infinity symbol, but I think it's a snake. I'm just having, yeah, that's a snake. So it's like this person is realizing who is a snake in the group and who's not. Who's truly there for them? They're not really. You know, they're, they're coming to terms with that as to what the right thing is to do. That's a Virgo energy. And the Ace of Cups is self-realization. Self-love, spiritual meanings here, spiritual purpose, doing the right thing, um, taking the cup, like the offer of this cup and drinking from the cup. And it's like a rebirth. It's like being born again, Christianity, that kind of thing as well for some people. Um, this person is going through a life changing thing at the moment. I'm talking about one of the people involved and they may even be indirectly involved. They may not have actually been there and did anything bad to Theo, but they may have just been there or they may have just heard about this conversation through some channel, you know, along the way, um, and realize I've got this info and I'm feeling really heavy and burdened by this. And I don't want anything to do. I don't want any more to do with this. I have to do the right thing. They're weighing it up, but they're scared, you know, and I want them to know they don't need to be scared because I feel that they're protected. And I also feel that the police would protect them, believe it or not. This is the Queen of uh, Cups. And this is the mother or the girlfriend. You know, she's an older woman. She's wise. She's maternal. She's got children of her own, I feel. Um, so it could be the mother of this person or it may be an auntie. It's like an older female figure. It could be a sister. You know, someone in the family who's... Um, onto it they're onto it even intuitively whatever it is they just seem to know they've got this info and there's the wheel which represents change what change are we moving into guys with this wheel so it means that somebody no matter what how we look at this someone's life is going to be torn apart we've already had a family and a life torn apart okay we've had a life a family being torn apart um, by heartache over someone's life is what I'm trying to say. And we also have the possibility that, okay, in order to do the right thing, in order to be brave and come forward, it's still going to cause pain. But either way, there's fucking pain. You know, this is how it is. Um, and at the end of the day, they can relieve themselves of some pain and torment by coming forward. Because in their heart... This person's not really this freaking murderer or someone who can cover up a murder or be an accomplice. They're not that person. And, and the others may not be either. But this person's definitely not that person. That's not who they are. They're not. Look, Page of Cups, this is the younger energy. This person is has got a whole life ahead of them, just like Theo had. You know, so I'm not sympathizing with this person, by the way. But I just want people to realize and recognize this is an energy I'm picking up on here. And I can see that this person's really struggling with coming forward, but they feel like they want to, which is a positive. And this energy here is also reflective of this person, that they're sensitive person. Uh, could be a Pisces Scorpio Cancer or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, but either way, it doesn't matter. They're embodying this uh, energy of still um, growing in the world, still trying to find themselves. And as I said, even if they're not young, even if they're not really young, they're embodying these qualities within themselves where they're still emotionally, maybe mentally or just um, 
even in just in their life, they just haven't been able to live really and grow in themselves. And maybe they've had a disadvantaged life. You know, it could be that as well. Could be a single mum situation, whatever it is, you know, but this person um, needs to come forward. And so there's the Queen of Wands reversed again. This person's not happy. She's not happy. She's reversed and she does not want the truth to come out. She, now, this is interesting because this one came up before about the business. It could be another time it comes out in the reading, it could represent someone else entirely, just so you guys know. Um, but this is somebody who's not happy about the truth coming out. They feel very overburdened by this uh, information. Um, they feel extremely overburdened um, and exhausted they're just exhausted they don't feel supported in this in any way they don't know what to do um the guards down all right let's have a look yeah and this is the devil energy which is interesting being reversed this is capricorn and being reversed it shows me that someone is untying themselves they're breaking free from the shackles or whatever that's keeping them tied down in this so that is actually a positive someone is going to break free okay got the lovers and we've got the moon so interesting So things hidden behind the scenes, going with the intuition to follow their heart. That's what I'm feeling with that. Okay, just one more card. One more card. Yeah, because somebody is tormented, staying up late at night, being becoming very depressed in this. Very depressed, very pressured. There's anxiety, there's stress, there's insomnia, there's headaches. And I'm thinking, well, this is actually pretty good. If they're feeling this, it means they've got a conscience. You know, and they can they can come forward. Somebody has to because too many know about it. That's what I feel here. There's too many that know about it. Because if we got three uh, perpetrators there, then you've got to bet that their girlfriends or their close loved ones or family or someone knows something. So there are a lot of people that know about this that are keeping their mouths shut because they're scared. But it's all going to hit the fan. Shit's going to hit the fan. Going to come crashing down on them. That's what I see. Secrets will come true. I mean, what I'm saying, the secrets will be revealed. The truth's coming out. Yeah. This is the, um, what's this, the Five of Swords? This is the worst card you can get in the deck. Someone's not fucking happy. Sorry to swear, but that's it. Someone's not happy. Someone's going to get the truth out of these people. And I feel like it's a policeman. Um, because they're holding back. They're holding back. This is also somebody who's representative of a very con controlling, manipulative, overbearing, arrogant kind of... Um, could be somebody who pretends they're like the leader of the group, you know, and they're going to threaten all they can. That they, You know, whoever's involved, they're going to threaten them to, to shut them up and all this stuff, right? But someone's going to do the right thing. And come forward. And there's victory in this, guys. Someone's coming forward. Absolutely. That is seriously victory right here. Doing the right thing. Coming forward. Offering their cup of truth. It's sincere. And it's heartfelt. And it's honest. And this person is going to reveal the truth. I feel like there's news coming. There is news coming. They just have to gain their courage to talk. And there's more than one. See, we see the three again. It's teamwork. So they're not coming forward alone. There may be two of them coming forward. There's definitely going to be some someone coming forward who has integrity and... This is somebody who's very dedicated. This is the king. We saw the night before with that dedication and putting the effort in and being the helper. This is the king energy of somebody, and I feel like this is his dad. This is Theo's dad. Oh, please stop being blurred. Won't stop being blurred right now. This is Theo's dad. This is the king of pentacles, someone who's very strong on their path, 
who will do stop at nothing to get to uh, the truth. And he is, oh, I can't get it blurred. Um, this is a grounded fellow. Like this is the um, somebody who's very strong and very practical, very grounded, um, able to, yeah, just main, maintain their um, energy in this. It's like he's really maintaining his energy in this. He's being strong. He's um, connecting with Theo, I feel. I feel like he does connect with Theo, him and his wife. They, they're both really connecting. Um, and also, you know, I saw before, and I meant to mention it actually, but the Page of Cups, not just talking about that other person's energy, but this represents Lucas, I feel. So we've got Lawrence and we've got Lucas and his beautiful mother down here. And I feel that um, they're all just so beautiful and strong. They're holding on in this, you know, and I know deep in their hearts they believe they're going to find the truth and I do feel like they will find the truth. It's going to justice will prevail is what I'm seeing. Justice will prevail. Yeah. This is the Six of Pentacles. It may not necessarily be easy to get this justice. And it may not necessarily be the outcome that everybody wants, you know. Um, but justice will prevail and the person responsible will be held accountable, I believe. And I really hope that's helped a lot of you to get some clarity and maybe it's confirmed a lot of what you've been feeling as well within this case. It may help police. I'm not sure. I'm not going to police or anything like that. I'm just putting this on my YouTube channel. And I mean, I did another spirit session. Oh, well, this is my first tarot reading, but I did a spirit session a few weeks back and I could see Theo without his hat. He came to me without his hat and then I think it was two weeks later, they confirmed they found a hat. So that just confirmed it for me that, okay, wow, you know, his hat was found in that, you know, that similar location or same location. And it was just confirmation for me that, wow, you know, spirit are coming through with truth. And, you know, it was just amazing to actually know that, wow, shit, that app actually worked, you know. So it's amazing this kind of stuff can reveal a lot of truths. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to the police and the searches and, and everyone working behind the scenes with the facts, you know. I'm not saying this isn't fact, but I'm not saying it's 100% correct either, you know. I'd be very arrogant to come out and say, oh, this is all truth and this is fact and this is exactly how it is. But this is just giving you guys clues perhaps or ideas and in, in which way to sort of go with this. Um, I pick up on people's energies and things like that through the cards, so... It'll be interesting to see what um, what happens in this and what occurs. So I hope this has helped you and I'll try and do an update very soon on another spirit session if I can connect with Theo. It's interesting because I haven't been doing the spirit apps uh, sessions for very long. Um, it's only been this year and so far I've only been able to connect with um, Carly Gousset and Theo and... Um, another person that I did a session with and they were what I call grounded and that means that they've crossed over from they've done the physical transition into the spirit realm they're not necessarily in heaven as we know it but they're in that transitional period where they're still grasping the concept that they've passed and that's when I can connect with them more so because they're more like they're vibrating at a lower frequency they're more connected to the 3d the earth plane and that's why I feel I can connect with them stronger than if, say, they go to the light. When they've gone to the light, they've probably got so many other things to do. They're visiting their family. There's there's other there's a very different energy when they go to the light. It's not as simple as being able to say, hey, you're in the light now. You can just clearly give me all the answers. It doesn't work like that. So, you know, this is the thing. Like if, if Theo chooses to come through and is able to somehow give me messages through an app or more visions or whatever, It'll be amazing. I have been receiving visions, but the spirit app itself will be an interesting thing to see if I can still get some more messages from him or his advocates or whoever's, you know, whoever's there and what I'm supposed to know. 
you know, I don't know all the ins and outs of the spirit world and what we're allowed to know and what we're not allowed to know, etc. Um, but it is very fascinating and I really am passionate about this case. Um, and yeah, I just really hope the truth comes through. I do feel it will, but I'm not sure exactly when, guys. I don't know of when, but I feel it won't be that long away. And so I leave you with love and blessings and I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love and blessings to you all.